So I thought I'd have an experiment and uh, get some scrap bags. I'll you'll see other people on the uh, YouTube buying these and uh, using them. So I don't know whether they're valued for money, but I did three from three different companies. This first one um, is from the Sewing Studio and that was £14.95 plus postage which came under which came to about £19. They didn't actually put the price in the delivery sheet and I can't find it at my purchase but it was £19 something and that was from the Sony Studio and that weighed in at 11.5 ounces. Now according to the, sh the delivery sheet it should have been half a pound which is which is eight do you know i forgot all my answers with you i'm to use to metro i've forgotten what half the answers are but it's 11.5 and it should have been half a pound the next one this one uh that was from a company called white gecko craftland which is amazon and that left everything in 14.95 to buy but they charge four pounds 65 so that come to 19 pounds 60 this one was slightly cheaper than this one and again that should have been the same weight that weighed in at 10.3 so therefore them two so far are over what they estimated was going to be in the pack this one um this one is from a completely separate um company called oh so sweet in louth in the uk that's amazon that's sunny studio and that's oh so sweet they was 300 grams which worked out to 11.9 ounces so that's way over what they said and that was nine pound for 300 grams where obviously they were nine 14 pound 95 for more but i think at the end of the day if you work out ounce for ounce this one works out better but these you get because it's moda you know what fabric you're getting and you know you're going to get um, the motor rolls whereas this one obviously by the look of it you do literally get scraps of fabric so so anyway you can work that out they're about 19 pounds something for the same thing uh, different delivery charges and different weights 11.5 ounce 10.3 ounce and then this one so i can put them away now so i'm going to open them uh this one was nine pound altogether 12 pound 25 with the postage for 11.9 so let's leave that to one side let's open the showing studio one first so bags empty nothing else in there but what they say you know you're going to get all the same lines so everything matches that's inside so and they are all nice puppets and you do know that you would go together and you have obviously these are end of rolls they're not uh, the rolls the thingy rolls these are end of some of these are but they're all from the same line by the looks of it and according to this it's buttercup and slate let's see if one says the same on another one yeah buttercup and slate this one's yeah definitely mowed up buttercup so that's all from the same fabric line so you know they're all going to match together really nice they're beautiful they are like those ones very spring very springy uh spring with the pale greens and yellows and oranges so they're nice let's open the next one right so these are quite wide so the ones from sewn fabrics let's get the measuring tape 
So the ones from sign fabric are coming in at roughly about three and a half inches. And three inches with the um, edges on. But these are definitely two and a half inch ones, these are. Again, it's all the same fabric line, they all match, so you, you know they all go together. Again, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're all lovely fabrics. So they're all reds and greens. They look a bit more Christmassy. What's that one say on there? Spruce, yeah, these are Christmas fabrics. So this is a Christmas fabric, weren't advertised as that. But they are nice. And you can't see which line it is and who though, because obviously they've done it the opposite way. Instead of having this down the sides, it's got it on the ends. Yeah, Christmas, Red Barn. I assume Red Barn is some kind of... Uh... Anyway, th again, beautiful fabrics, you all go together. So you know they're going to... But obviously you know, then you're limited to what you can make with that because that's just Christmas, whereas this is any time of the year. So, very nice, very good. This is one of interesting because I think this is a better value. But it'll be interesting to know. Move them to one side. This is just the bag. Yeah, and they're all eights and different different fabrics. Doesn't say moda. Let's just put you down just a little bit so we can get you. These are all different types of fabrics and different sizes. That's quite large. That's bigger than a quarter, the eighth. I've had this one before. This is Mikawa, this one. I've had that one before. That's a good filler, that is. And a good contrast colour. So that's quite large. So, that one's... These are definitely, it definitely is a scrap bag and it's all cotton and all different sizes, different colours uh, and that one's a Christmas one. That one's flowers, you've got different patterns, different colours. I don't particularly like that one, I like the colour green but I don't know if I like the pattern. But they're all reasonably sized but Penny for penny, this one, even though none of it matches as in they weren't made in the same fabric line as the others, but if you want scrap to go with whatever else you've got in your stash, then I think this one is the better is the best bargain. But now delivery. The other two, not this one, which is the oh so sweet. The other two, one from Sony Studio and Amazon that I ordered it came within a couple of days. This one took nearly two weeks. So if you buy from independent shops you'll probably find that your delivery is taking longer. I suppose it all depends on the shop at the end of the day. But I had to get in touch with them twice because I didn't think it was coming. I think it took by the time I ordered, I think it two and a half to three weeks. But I wasn't in any rush, it was just an experiment to see. I've got lots of scrap now to go into my scrap bin, which I've got loads of now. Uh, but at least I know that if I wanted to make a baby quilt or a, um, something, a Christmas quilt, all I have to do is sew them to all together, these other ones. And um, I'll get a reasonable, uh, a reasonable size, probably a baby quilt or something like that. Anyway, that's the first time I've done a video for quite some time. I've had a break, um, running out of ideas of things to do. Um, as you know, I've had a delivery, um, I've had a new sewing machine, um, so I'm practicing on that at the moment, so uh, I've already made 
a few bits so we'll put them on the end of this video. I've made a pelican tote because my other one wasn't any good. I love this bag. As you can see on the inside I'm using it at the minute. You've got a zip pocket. Plenty of room. I, I use this for work and for shopping. Um, got a zip at the front. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube about making the pelican tote. What I did this time was the usual standards, which what they show you was having um, a different one to the outside. But then when I turned it round, I reversed it. And this is a canvas, and then this is fabric. Um, this time I used foam. Uh, to make it a lot stiffer so it stands up a bit more. Um, I made an empress on my jack as well, but the empress after a week fell to bits. I think it had something to do with the vinyl that I used that was too heavy, so it basically collapsed in the inside and some of the bits the vinyl started to split. So I don't think that was a fault of the pattern, but yet again I came back to the pelican toe you can't beat that bag it's simple it's easy for big for, for beginners um, it's the right size you can put anything in it um, you can make it with short handles and I always do it with long handles so because I like it to come down to my hip um, you can do any color that you wish and it always looks nice and it holds everything you need it to hold you can put a computer in there um, it's brilliant. So that's the uh, second thing I made on my jack, but the other one, I think the vinyl, I had a problem with the vinyl. So I went back to my old favourite, because I've made, this is my fourth one I've made, uh, is the Pelican Tower. Absolutely brilliant for gifts, this is, because it comes in handy for little bits of shopping, a work bag, a lunch, it comes in handy for everything. Um, thank you for joining me and please hit the like and subscribe and you'll be notified. Thank you.